Hello, Morning Rush of Regulars. Happy Monday, if that's possible. But this is a big week, so we should be excited about this week. Okay. Why is it a big week? Well, we got the opening of the South Carolina State Fair. Oh, on Wednesday. Yeah, we got a big game on Saturday. Is that a big game, or is that a beatdown? I don't know. It doesn't look good. We're, what, 24-point underdogs right now. Okay. Well, we are going to take opening. <laughs> And Clemson, what are they favored by, 105? And yeah, Florida State still has a football team, which is kind of shocking news, so they're going to still play that game. <laughs> on Saturday. Does the Indian still come out, or is he no. too embarrassed yeah, now? He's like, humiliated. Okay. So he's, he, like the, he's like the Indian from the 70s with the little <laughs> tear. That's the Florida State Indian now. He's like the Ghost Riders appearing at the South Carolina State Fair. It's a monkey on a, on a German Shepherd. <laughs> Oh my gosh, now it's really getting weird. <laughs> hey, uh, welcome to tomorrow's show today. Tomorrow's Tuesday. It's hashtag Tuesday. Tumbleweed's got a unique tum uh, <laughs> hashtag you were telling me about. Yeah, he was all excited about it. Do you remember what your hashtag was, Tumbleweed? Uh, State Fair has new gondolas? Sort of. You said something about <laughs> AC, it was, it was AC ACG. Yeah. For air conditioned gondola, uh, gondolas. Gondolas. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're air saying conditioned gondolas. gondolas. There you go. We're celebrating that. Did you see the Ferris wheel? It's going up. This is a brand new one. We're, we, we have a brand new Ferris wheel at the South Carolina State Fair. Never been ridden before. That's the part that scares me. The never been ridden before. We Has anyone tested ride. this? No? South Carolinians are being used as crash test dummies? We should give away the first ride of the South Carolina State Fair. I'll call the State Fair today and see if we can give away the first ride. It's like taking the first ride on an elevator. I don't want the first ride. I want like the 200th. <laughs> Live on the edge, Kelly. Come on, brother. <laughs> All right, so we'll do your hashtag. I don't know if you celebrated the South Carolina State Fair or not. I don't know if you want to get in the air-conditioned gondolas. Just to keep you from jumping out, we. Huh. Okay. That's a safety thing. All right, so... Let's see. The other thing we wanted to talk about tomorrow, I forgot. We we discussed. Several. Oh yeah, hashtag is going to be at, at seven. Excuse me, six fifteen. Now at seven fifteen, we were talking oh. about a story that has to do with the neighborhood app, and the question is, what have you been seeing on your neighborhood? Wait a Okay. I'm sorry. But, uh, you just made you just the made the <laughs> rush very angry. Wait, wait. The state fair begins Friday. No, no. it's Wednesday, October 9th. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't even hear a word he's saying now. I got the word. Like, when did they change? They always yeah, open the, on the, Wednesday. The neighborhood app is what we were talking about. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> Funny yeah, yeah. things that you see. Now, we got a story on the Morning Rush blog that has to do with uh, candy, and this lady has totally ripped her neighborhood about making sure you candy shame everybody. Jolly Ranchers, that's good enough for the losers in the other neighborhood. But in our neighborhood, <laughs> we expect minimum full-size Three Musketeers and Snickers and Reese's right. Peas. We're going big time here. Preferably king size because we have a rep to maintain. We got a neighborhood reputation to maintain. Why is it though everything I, I open up on the um, next door app is some kind of tragedy that befell somebody that lived like four blocks away? Like the guy I saw somebody snuck into this carport in the middle of the night, jacked his Honda up, <clears throat> took all four tires, window wheels, took, took them all off, left his Honda jacked up on concrete blocks. You'd have thought they'd have heard that, right? No. Very quiet. That, that's like that's a mouse in the night. Yeah, you should be embarrassed. You should now. This woman would call that neighbor and say, "Take that down! Don't be showing that picture on our neighborhood." This is like a lot of things going on with the next door app. Well, yeah, and I've I've seen snakes crawling across the doorbell. The, those yeah. like ring yeah. doorbells on the neighborhood app. Right. That's amazing. But the funny stories. We're just going to look for some funny stories okay. that you probably never would have heard of if you weren't on the next door app. All right, so we're going to do that tomorrow as well. Man, yeah. we've had. So much concert stuff coming down. By the way, I wanted to mention this. If you didn't win your tickets for uh, Tracy Lawrence for Country for Christmas in the Township, those are now on sale. You can link to that off of 97.5 WCOS.com. We had a, a bar open up in the Midwest. I can't remember the name of the town. The name of the bar is Open Concept. We have a video of it on the Morning Rush blog, and they have a new concept. Rather than charging you by the drink, they charge you by the hour. So it's an open bar. You just pay the ten dollars and you're in for an hour after an hour they're gonna come up and say would you like to stay it's another ten dollars would or you they up the price well it's twenty dollars an hour if you want the top shelf liquor gotcha so if you're planning on drinking like the top of the line stuff it's twenty dollars an hour while you're here now, you do they drink shame you because I don't know which one I pay for it do I have like a blue cup? I'm sure you have a special bracelet a blue on. Cup if I'm on the cheap rack yeah right like the bar brands and then if you want the next level up then you get like um, the red cup. Yeah, but I would be on the I would be on the, the the bottom brand if I was just drinking beer. 
If I just wanted True. beer, okay. so a lot of guys, they don't care. They just want to drink beers, right? So if you're going to drink two beers an hour, that's about 10 bucks. There you go. So you're actually kind of maybe coming out ahead of the game here. I don't Seems know. like the Mothers Against Drunk Drivers and those kind of organizations going to have a pushback. Again. Well, no, because there's also an app that everybody has to blow into, so they'll know when you're drunk. Oh. And they, they say this is a better way of keeping everybody under control in the bar. So you're not going to make money <clears throat> by going in there as a... If you're a drinker, like, I can, I can nail nine shots, watch me. <laughs> They're not going to serve you. Got it. Yeah. Okay, I, well, I don't know if we see good and bad, but I'll tell you what, you can chime in on that tomorrow if you'd like. Remember, our number is 978-9267. Did you want to talk about the slang terms? Jonathan loves the history of words. I did. That's one thing that I, if you know Jonathan, he looks them up, he wants to know, how do we start saying gondolas. When, the, when the crap hit the fan? Gondolas. <laughs> or that, yeah. Yeah, why do we call them gondolas? Now they're air conditioned, I want to know why do we call them gondolas? Now, the original gondolas were in Venice. There was the boat, you know, that you don't use a paddle. But why do they call them gondolas? Now, that, they never told us that. Well, they said something about it being a flat, flat bottom. Yeah. And now, when Mr. Ferris invented the Ferris wheel, he called them aerial gondolas. Yeah. Aerial. Yeah, but it was something that was like a Greek word or something that they had had in like the 1300s before the gondolas were invented. Right. They were using it to describe all That's flat right. bottom things or something. Anyway, the point being, we also have phrases that have gone out of favor. Egads. Yeah, I've never heard of egads. Jonathan knew that one. Used to express surprise or anger. Egads, man. Uh, I like the fact that we actually did use Scaramooch before it was a political term for Anthony Scaramucci. <laughs> Scaramooch meant a boastful or cowardly person. Scaramooch, Scaramooch, do you do the, the Fandango? fandango. Uh, how about the fact that when they used the toilet back in the 1600s, they didn't have indoor plumbing. So any outdoor toilet was referred to as a Jakes, J-A-K-E-S. Now, see, we know that we call it taking a crap because of Mr. Crapper. He invented That's right. the toilet. Why are you laughing at history? <laughs> in history, we eat. This is serious subject matter. But So I guess before we had the Crapper, I guess Mr. Jakes built the first uh, indoor. Maybe he, he wanted some privacy. So Got he built outhouse. the uh, outhouse. Yeah. So why don't we call it the Jakes anymore? How has that name been lost to history? Nobody's did got the a Jake, Jakes. <clears throat> did the ja well, what are you talking about? I used the Jakes at Williams <laughs> Bryce all the time. That's not a out. That's not a. It's outdoors, and I'm using a toilet. Well, it's an outhouse. We should call true. it. We should call it the Jakes. We should call it the Jakes. Yeah. Okay. I gotta hit the Jakes. No, my dad's got a Jakes, but um, out in the country we still have Jakes, and we still have an outhouse. Not that they use it. They actually use it to throw. You know, like if you got something to go, what the hell am I gonna put? The, how am I gonna throw this away? You take it to the outhouse, throw it in there. It's hidden in the jakes now. There you go. So maybe phrases that you used to hear, maybe, I, these are all from like the 1700s, 1800s, but maybe phrases that you used to use in the 70s or 80s or 90s that we don't use anymore. They put in here floppy disk. Nobody well, uses the phrase floppy disk anymore. Nobody has a floppy disk. Yeah. So that, that kind of went away with the technology. All mm -hmm. right, I understand that. Well, that's the same thing as the jakes, right? Technology improved, we quit using the jakes. Okay. okay. What Words that have that? disappeared. Mm -hmm. And that's sad because we're losing words. <laughs> we're losing them. That's, we I, can't find them. Where'd we hide them? <laughs> we're losing words, man. <laughs> we're supposed to be building on that. But it was like we had a conversation earlier. And this is totally unrelated to that. But the um, millennials, very word efficient. They were like um, the guy said, my immune is suffering. Not my immune system, my immune. Or like, uh, so they abbreviate two words into one. Or one word, like feelings, becomes a half word, feels. All the feels. Tumbleweed's always got all the feels. So this is... He's wrapping it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. 978 Chime in on that, unless you don't have a phone and you're Jake's. And then Oof. wait till you get back to your crapper. <laughs> you can call us from your home phone. Please call me from your toilet tomorrow. It would be fun, too. 978-9267. You can always reach, to us, reach out to us on Twitter or Facebook. And uh, have a great day. Try to make it a try to make it a fun Monday. We'll talk about it on Tuesday. Tomorrow on the Morning Rush.